In heavy bid, there's some critical skills that every estimator must know if they're using heavy bid. And I would liken this to uh, perhaps if you own a car, you know, every car owner should know how to check the oil, how to check the tire pressure, you know, some critical things for the car. This is the same for heavy bid. Everybody should know how to do this. If you've been using heavy bid for a long time and come across this video and uh, don't know this, then perhaps you do need some more training as uh, this is something that should be part of your workflow all the time. So let's go over this uh, backup. And what I'm referring to is backup and restoring estimates. So I'm going to go up here. I'm in an estimate and I'm going to back it up and I go to the backup icon or I can go file backup. Now I'm assuming that maybe you're backing this up because you want to save it at this point in time. And you know, it's always a good idea, especially for, you know, pretty tedious, large estimates to back it up at least every day so that you have, a, you know, a backup say, well, I want to go back and look at something I did two days ago. Why is it changed? Um, because the data is live on your server, but it's being overwritten all the time. A backup freezes it in time. It also allows you to uh, email it, you know, to someone else. And this is the, the main reason I'm creating this video is to show you how you can uh, create a backup of an estimate and the system-wide backup so you could email it. So I'm in the estimate I want to back up. I go to backup, single estimate. You notice here, up here, the estimate to be backed up. I could indicate another estimate. This happens to be the one that I'm in right now. Or I can go out and get another one. I'm going to leave this as is. Then I have the destination. I browse out and I can go and, you know, put this on my desktop or some other. It's going to um, default to this HB save, usually on your local drive, heavy bid workstation. I'm going to leave it like that. And then what I usually do is I put some kind of a date stamp here. Um, you know, I might just put in today's date or put in something like uh, Friday, final, something like that. So it makes it unique. So next time I do it, it won't overwrite the previous time. If I left it as 1-utility, it would not be unique. And then I could, then I finish it. I could also email it, but it does have to, heavy bit has to be connected to your email server. Otherwise, has to see it. Otherwise, it cannot uh, send it out. Let's just keep it simple. And we're going to go ahead and this is what's happening. You notice it's copying the files to temporary directory. And there it goes. Now, this is uh, creating two files. One is a .est and one's a .zip. So you got to be sure if you're emailing this that you send two files. All right. So if you're backing up an estimate and emailing, if you're sending just one file, then it probably won't work on the other end. So let's go look at the two files. Again, this is not hard. I just come down here. I'm going to go back to my here we are in my Explorer, and this was probably in my C drive, heavy bid workstation, HB save. And you notice there they are. It's a dot zip and a dot EST. If I have only the dot EST, it, I have no data. All right, so the zip is the data. This is the pointer file right here. Now, if I want to restore a file, then I just have to point to this one right here, and it knows that this is the restore file. And I'll probably do this in another video. Right now, this video is focused on backing up an estimate. So now I would email those two files uh, if I want to send this to somebody. Now, it's also important to back up your system wide. Um, let's say, you know, every month, every quarter, or if somebody needs it that you need to email them your system wide file. You just go to File, Backup, System. Now this would have your bid item codebook, material codebook, activity codebook, those system-wide files. And again, I can also add to this, uh, call this, you know, I'm going to call it Final. And 
then I can back this up. Now this will be just a single file, not a, um, you know, not two files. So all you have to do is just send email this .zip file and uh, that'd be all the data that you need. And it does back up everything in the system-wide settings. So you don't have, there's no options. There's only options when you go to restore. So uh, that concludes this video on backing up in, um, the, an individual estimate and backing up the system-wide files. It's something that every estimator should know how to do. It's uh, pretty much a basic critical skill and um, you know something that you should put in your toolbox and, and be aware. And remember that backup is your undo. Uh, you know, when you go to, like, for instance, edit, change activity data, it's making a backup right now. And so that is your undo in case, uh, you know, you, you don't get the results that you're looking for. So this is Arthur Nix, EWKS, and uh, we specialize in uh, developing these critical skills that your estimating team needs. And uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions.